Hi, I'm Dean Wadbera. I'm a law school professor, a lawyer, and a law school dean. Today, I will give my reaction to Doc Adam versus the Copper Mask. Welcome back. Again, I'm Dean Rodvera. I'm a lawyer, and today I will talk about the issue of the copper mask. Now, the last couple of weeks, uh, there has been this doctor, a British doctor based in Australia, who has criticized and gave comments about a certain face mask labeled as the copper mask. In this video, he highlighted that the mask was not 100% covering the face. There was a hole in the bottom of the mask, which medical studies have proven, according to him, that it's not effective as a true face mask. In fact, he placed comments or studies in by doctors in Australia showing that a face mask to be effective must fully cover the face. Now, he made another video of which he was sent a cease and desist letter or in legal parlance, it'd be considered a demand letter because if he failed to take down what he put up in the video, he may be sued for the amount of roughly 10 million pesos, be deported back to the Philippines and face a jail time up to six years. What possible crime could they accuse Doc Adam? It is the case of cyber libel. Now, before we discuss what cyber libel is, we must define first what is libel in a general sense. Libel is a public and malicious imputation of a crime or of a vice or defect, real or imaginary, or any act, omission, condition, status, circumstance tending to cause the dishonor, discredit, or contempt of a natural or juridical person or to blacken the memory of one who is dead. That is the definition of libel under Article 353 of the Revised Penal Code of the Philippines. It devised how the crime of libel is committed insofar as the jurisdiction of the Philippines. Technically, libel is committed by the printed word. If the words were said uh, or spoken, it would be considered slander or oral slander. Since the comments made by Doc Adam were in a YouTube video, it may be considered cybercrime libel or libel under the cybercrime law. Here is how libel is defined under the cybercrime law. According to Section 4 of Republic Act 10175, Libel is the unlawful prohibited acts of libel as defined in Article 355 of the Penal Code as amended, committed through a computer system or any or similar means which may be devised in the future. Since the video was in YouTube, a platform that can be accessed through a computer, whether it be a laptop or a phone, hence it could be considered as cybercrime libel or cyber libel. Now in this video, I'm not going to discuss whether who is right or wrong. I will discuss whether libel, in this case, is defensible or indefensible. If you think about it, libel is when somebody hurts somebody with malicious intent, meaning when somebody says hurting words against a person, that person who said those words intended to hurt the person he told those nasty things to. Now, Libel technically is a personal crime, meaning the person who felt hurt or the person who felt offended must be the one who will file the case of libel or cybercrime libel in the courts through the prosecutor. It cannot be instituted by the police or the NBI or the FBI. It has to be done personally by the person who felt offended by remarks. What is copper mask? Is it a person or is it a juridical person or a corporation? We don't know because copper mask is just the brand of the mask that is being sold here in the Philippines. So technically, what Doc Adam did was he, if it is true, he gave criticisms, albeit a little nasty, about a product rather than a corporation or a person. There are certain defenses against libel. First, libel is actually a limitation on the constitutional right of freedom of expression. Under the Constitution, under the Bill of Rights, anybody can say what they want. It is limited by libel in a sense that you guys can't say something nasty, untrue, malicious, defamatory against a person or a corporation. Necessarily, that is then tempered by the defenses allowed in libel. One of them is the truth. 
but that only applies on persons. Meaning, if what you said in a newspaper or in a video or in a, or in a blog article about a certain person, if it's true, then that could be a defense that will be considered by the courts in the prosecution of the crime. There are two possible defenses for that. It's either fair criticism or fair comment. Now, what Doc Adam did as a medical profession, he gave a comment or criticism on a product on its efficacy or its effectiveness as a face mask. It is up to the owners or whoever is selling the copper mask to see whether those statements actually hurt, defamed the product of the copper mask. Again, libel can only be filed by a person or a corporation, not by a product. Going through the motions of giving fair criticism or fair comment about a product or a service, should we consider that as libel or defamatory? If we allow that to happen, then food critics, movie critics, people give one stars in TripAdvisor or in Yelp, they will all go to jail. Is it malicious if I were to say that this restaurant served food that was bland, served food that was too salty? Is it libelous when I said the movie was boring? We see hundreds, if not thousands, of YouTube videos, articles, reviewing products, cameras, computers, even clothes, and even makeup. To those people criticizing those products, should they be sued for libel? This case is quite interesting. Here we have a medical product that is in the face of a pandemic, where face masks are mandated by law. In fact, if you don't wear a face mask in public, you could suffer some consequences down to jail time. So, when everybody's forced to wear face masks, people have to buy these face masks. There was a time early in the pandemic where face masks were running out of supply. It was hard to buy a face mask. Prices were going up, but as of today in February 2021, face masks are readily available. In fact, you can buy even face shields, which is also mandated by law. So, Again, we have a medical professional giving criticism or comment about a product claiming to be an effective face mask. Whether what Doc Adam said is true or not is up to the courts to decide. The owners of the copper mask have every right to sue for libel because they feel that what comments were given were malicious. But in my opinion, I think this is a slippery slope. If we allow these kind of cases to continue and to prosper and to mature into actual uh, criminal prosecutions, what is going to happen is that if I give a YouTube video criticizing a Canon camera, can Canon sue me for libel? If I was a food critic and I made a video regarding this restaurant had lousy service, lousy food, the food was too salty, the food was too bland, can that restaurant sue me for libel? The quirky thing about libel is that it is very subjective. What could be malicious or hurtful to one person may not be considered as malicious or hurtful by another. Also, in this modern age, we have social media platforms, criticisms are a necessary thing. Also, you have to be fair. If you allow endorsements or if you allow statements saying or claims that this product is this good or this great or this effective, then you should be allowed to be presented with a counter-argument that your product is not as good as you claim to be. Establishments like restaurants, hotels, airlines, they live and breathe through these criticisms. I know you've heard stories about certain airlines that they had uh, treated their customers badly, their flight was so delayed, they didn't take care of their customers. And again, every person who has suffered those things has a right to give comment or give criticism in the mediums that they choose. This is a very interesting case. I will watch it as it develops. And if it matures into anything else, I will also give my fair comment about it. Hi, please do me a favor and smash that like button. It will help me a lot and it will trigger the YouTube algorithm. Now, if you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. If you don't, my dog will eat this exam booklet and that student has to repeat his final exam again.